What's up everybody, t 2 rx 6 here, back for another Transformers third party review, and today we're taking a look at the Make Toys, Make Toys, Trash Talk, and Cogwheel, uh, otherwise known as Swerve and Gears, from the Manga Mech series. Uh, this is a very recent release, and uh, yeah, it's the basically Cybertronian Swerve and uh, Gears. So this is their alt modes here. I'm not a huge fan of the uh, Cybertronian modes personally. Um, I kind of find myself favoring gears just because I prefer the look of the vehicle. Um, it looks a little bit closer to an Earth mode to me. Um, some people prefer Swerve simply because of his, uh, you know, his what he's done in the comics. And I can't blame anyone who thinks that. Um, I'm splitting this set actually with a friend of mine, and uh, I chose Gears, and he's taking Swerve. So that works out for us. So, uh, yeah. Um, inside the box, of course, you get the uh, weapons to go with the two of them. This is uh, Gears' gun, and this is uh, Swerve's gun. And uh, you can attach them onto the side of their vehicle modes here. Uh, whoops. Just by taking it and pegging it on in to the side like so. Uh, Gears actually works just a touch different. His gun looks like this normally and you kinda flip it to the side here and then you can actually take it and plug it in so none of this other stuff is in the way here. You also get the uh, two alternate heads for these guys. Now this is the one that is actually on Gears to start with. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of it. Uh, it's nothing wrong with the head. I just prefer the visored head a little bit more. So there's that one. And uh, for uh, Swerve, you get the one where he's clearly blown his face off with his own blaster. Uh, an optic hanging out there. Yeah, it's pretty gruesome. And of course, there is the little drink tray here with the beverages on it. Um, removable from the tray. They're just kind of clipped in here. Uh, every single one of them, they peg in here. And, uh, you know, you could take your favorite character and give them a nice uh, glass of Energon here. And that is just pretty cool. I can't really argue that. I Honestly, this little tray kind of makes me wish that I wasn't getting rid of this uh, Gears because I have to kind of give the tray to go with it. That just wouldn't be fair. But, uh, yeah, I really like this little tray. Let's plug this back in, and uh, I think if you want to, you can uh, plug it in right on his roof here, so he can carry the little drink tray with him. So one more thing to point out about these guys before we go on into their uh, actual robot modes here is they also have this little, you know, you can flip up the front end here and reveal some extra lights here on... Uh, gears and uh, a similar type thing on uh, Swerve here if I can get my hand in it there we go he can I open the cockpit and he's got some kind of light thingy in here yeah so uh, that is the two of them transforming these guys is an absolute breeze uh, very much reminds me of like a GoBot type thing basically disconnect the top here rotate the little legs all the way around Take this, flip the wheels on to the inside here, take his foot and flip this down, like so, and there's the uh, look at the visor face here on gears. Um, now we're going to take his uh, hands here, kind of separate them from the car here, and uh, pull them out, and you'll see them extend, and you kind of have this. Now what you have to do, and you have to be careful because these are on little tiny ball joints and they will pop out, but uh, you got to take this and listen carefully. They'll click into place. So again, pull this out, take this, click it into place, and we're almost done here. We just kind of have to come around to the back here, and be careful because it looks like this is going to be on some swivel, and I actually stressed the plastic on this red piece in here. You can't see it when he's in uh, robot mode, so that or, or vehicle mode, so that was fortunate. But uh, I'll show you. I thought that this kind of pulled back to get the head out. Um, it does not. But anyway, take these, rotate these on down, 
these will kind of peg together here like so uh, and then it's just a matter of taking these windows here and they're attached and you can bring these all the way down and up to kind of fill in the uh, back here and there we go we've got gears here and I really like the uh, robot mode on this guy especially with that visored head uh, big fan of that and we'll give him his gun here um, just kind of rotate this and peg it into his hand now the thing that's a little bit disappointing about this guy is that he does not use your standard peg hole so uh, things like the my first blaster don't actually work with your uh, regular Hasbro toys but uh, that's okay I suppose so let's take him, we'll put him aside, and let's do gears here too. Again, it's exactly the same thing. Flip his legs all the way down. Flip these wheels on around. And I meant swerve, I know I just said gears. Flip his feet. Like so. And look at that face. That is a IDW swerve if I've ever seen it. So if you're a fan of IDW swerve, yeah. I think you kind of have to get this guy right. Pull this on out. And it's not that I'm not a fan of IDW Swerve. I just don't really feel I need this particular one um, for my collection. I would rather have an Earth Mode uh, Swerve uh, like the Generations one that's coming out. Take this. Clip it together as you can hear very tough to get it the first couple times there we go come around here to the back and plug this on in and then take this piece and rotate it on up like so and there we go there is our uh, swerve here and we can give him our gun We'll just put it in the opposite hand here. Again, comes off real easy. Big old gun for Swerve. And you know what? He's multi-talented. And his hand went flying. We'll rotate this on up. We'll take his hand here off the floor. And uh, plug it back in. Like so. And uh, you know what? Swerve's also going to... Uh, Hold on to the drink tray that he's got to give to everyone. That's just cool. And uh, we'll take the uh, picture off because Gears here came over and he uh, took the picture off the drink tray so he can dole out the beverages to people. I just really like that. I think that that it was a really neat touch to add the drink tray and make it so you can. Uh, take the drinks off so now some of you may be asking how do I adjust the heads or how do I switch the heads because uh, I had mentioned I stressed out the plastic no worries I'm gonna show you this too so what you want to do is kind of take your hands here kind of grip the wheels and uh, push on the back of the truck here if you can and you should find that his whole torso will pop right out and just to show you see where I uh, stressed out my plastic there in the back it doesn't really affect anything but uh, yeah, just be careful of that you can kinda take this whole piece off which we don't need to do so we're gonna just put that back into the floor apparently alright take this and put that back you know he does have some kind of rotation here I never noticed that I don't really understand what that's for I think it's just a way to clip this uh, glass piece on in so I wouldn't really mess with it but anyway there we go focus camera so now you got this out here he's got no no body here basically and now you can actually take it and 
move around his head, do whatever you want to do. If you're going to replace it, make sure you unscrew the bolt a little bit so it makes it loose enough to come off the joint because it is too tight for that ball joint here. And if you pull it, you're just going to end up ripping the peg off. So uh, while we have it out, range of motion, it's on a ball joint. It's pretty fantastic. We'll take this and we'll plug that back in here. Uh, going on to the rest articulation, articulated shoulder uh, with an extra swivel at the top to get plenty of motion. Uh, a bicep swivel. Very, very, very tight elbows, which you can see usually results in me popping his hand off in some way. Hand is also on a ball joint for quite a bit of motion. Coming down here, I don't particularly like the separation of his waist, but it's okay. Uh, gives you enough rotation on the waist to be useful. Uh, ball jointed uh, leg with a thigh swivel and of course a very nice uh, knee. And coming down to the foot here, it is also on a ball joint so you get quite a bit of rotation and movement out of that for pretty well anything that you could possibly want to do. And the same goes for Swerve, but we really don't need to show off two of them and their articulation when it's identical. So let's talk about the My First Blaster, which uh, comes in a box like this, very plain. You see how it looks like. And uh, on the back, on the box, very simplistically, it just kind of tells you how you're going to put this together. Yep, you have to put it together. Everything is on a sprue. So, if everything goes right, we're going to have a little musical interlude here. And uh, we are going to build the My First Blaster real quick on camera. Hopefully uh, sped up quite a bit to make this a little bit faster. And uh, yeah, if not, prepare for a jump cut. But hopefully not. Let's get to it. So there we go, now we've got the complete My First Blaster, I had to do a little jump there because I realized I forgot the top here. And uh, as you can see, it looks pretty good, the colors are really nice on this. Not entirely sure what this says here, it says My First Blaster and looks like it's only made for little something. I don't quite know, uh, if you do feel free to leave it in the comments. But yeah, very effective, I really like this uh, little build, not hard to do at all looks really nice and uh, of course we can take someone here like Swerve who utilized the My First Blaster and he holds it absolutely wonderfully and Swerve with the My First Blaster that's just freaking cool so uh, yeah there's really not a whole bunch more to say about this video are these guys let me just bring in a uh, classic Trotimus here for a uh, size comparison and you can just see they're they're pretty darn tiny but I like them so this is T2RX6 I hope you guys enjoyed the review and I'll see you next week